Well, when I went, when I came to the club in March, uh, you know, the back end of last season, the team were in a lot of difficulty. Uh, they'd won one game in 19 in the league and were on the slide, and things were not looking good. You know, confidence in the team was was low, um, and it was really important that we got some results quickly. Fortunately, we were able to do that with the result against QPR, the result against Preston, and then it became a little bit difficult at the end. But ultimately, we got the job done. It wasn't an easy situation. It's the second time I've gone into a club as manager and the club has been in difficulty. It wasn't an easy situation, but it's a better situation now because um, I've been able to influence the squad in terms of recruitment, ins and outs. I've been able to influence the backroom staff. Uh, I've had time, more time to plan through the off-season about where I want to take this team and the idea that I have for this team. And more importantly, I've had a pre-season to be able to get my ideas across to the players. And I have to say they're responding really well. And one of the big objectives is to get this team fit and ready for a really long, intensive season. The team's moving in the right direction. And everybody can see the results of our work that we're doing behind the scenes into the performances. And I'm confident that when we get to the start of the season, which is a, you know, not long away now, that this group are going to be ready. been very fortunate to have uh, experienced lots of different cultures, travel the world, work with some great people, work with some great players, some great coaches. Um, and, I, and I'm only, you know, in management terms, relatively young. I mean, I'm still under 50, good couple of years under 50. Uh, less than 100 games as a manager, so you know I'm pretty new to this still. I'm still learning, still want to improve. Got incredible amount of desire and ambition to want to do, want to do well, want to do really well here at Reading. Want to want to be successful with this group of players and the staff that we have here. I think it's a really good football club. Really grateful for the opportunity. Uh, I think I've got a lot to give, and I'm enjoying myself here in this environment. There's so much competition in the league and that's what makes it a really exciting league, I think, and unpredictable. Hopefully it'll be a successful season. It's set up really well. We have a fantastic stadium. Um, we have a new training ground in the pipeline. The one we're working at at the moment is fine, it's functional. The club have been there a long time and have had success working out of that facility. So you know, we're certainly not making any excuses. The pitches at Hogwood are really good. Um, but we're also looking forward to developing a new state-of-the-art training ground with the support of Mr. Uh, Mr. Dye and Miss Dye, very close to Hogwood, that's going to be fantastic for the future of this club. I always had a lot of respect for, for Reading during my time in youth development, both at Fulham at Chelsea when we come up against Reading. I always had good players, always had players that uh, have fought and been strong and a lot of perseverance. Lots of players that have come through the academy into the first team that are in the first team now or have gone on and had good careers um, elsewhere. And that's really the way we want to keep driving this club forward. It's clear for everybody where, where we want the club to go, but you're not going to hear me talking about that. What you're going to hear me talking about is we're working every day to get the details right. Every day. And every game that we prepare for, we're going to do our very best to play well and to try and win every game. And when you break that down, that's obviously 46 league games, then we've got the League Cup and then we've got the FA Cup. You know, if we start to get results, hopefully you'll guys see a cumulative effect of the, a run in a cup or a position at a table come as a result of those individual games. So the focus at the moment is preparing for the first game. It's always strange the pre-season because there's so much focus on the first game, but then the first game's gone and you know you have a, you have another game straight away. So pre-season, yeah, you're preparing for the first game, but you're also preparing for the season ahead. Um, we do our best to win the first game. Once that game's over with, then we have to prepare for the for the next one. You know, fans fans are no different to the managers, coaches, and players. That they want their team to win, 
and uh, you know that's what we're going to be trying to do. And I think if the team are winning, but they're also doing it in a way that's that's good to watch, that's exciting and enjoyable, the fans will come and and, and support the team. When the team's struggling, when the team's not playing well, when the team's not getting results, no one's happy. That's when the you know, things are more difficult, things can become more strained. And managers and players always ask the fans, don't they, be patient, it's a long season and stick behind the team, you're a, you're a big help. Now, hopefully this season we're going to have some really, uh, some really good performances and we're going to have a team that the, the fans can really relate to, really associate with and can be proud of as well.